Hello and welcome to another Beehive growth tutorial where we're going to go over how to set up a Google Analytics account so that you can start measuring activity and performance on your publication. So if you don't yet have a Google Analytics account, we're going to navigate to analytics.google.com and click on this button where it says start measuring. Now you will need a Google account. So if you don't have a Google account already, you'll have to go and create one. Uh, but we're going to click the start measuring account. Uh, we're going to click on account name and name it the name of your publication. In this case, I'm using a test publication I created called Daily Meditation. Um, you can check or uncheck these. We'll just uncheck them for the purpose of this test, but feel free to keep them checked if you want to hear from them. Here again, now we're going to name, we're going to write the name of the publication again. Uh, in the first step, if you have a company that is kind of overseeing lots of different properties, you could put the company name in the account setup and then the property name would be the specific publication. For this case, they're one in the same. Um, you can set the uh, time zone. We're going to click on this uh, high, this advanced options button. So right now, Google Analytics is kind of pushing us towards creating what their, their new uh, format of tracking called Google Analytics 4. However, there are still at this time of recording in March of 2022, kind of serious flaws with the GA4 um, framework. And so uh, this will basically help you set up one of each, a, the traditional universal analytics property, as well as a GA4 property. And we'll go through what that means in more detail in a few minutes. So we're gonna in here, type in the name of the publication's URL. So dailymeditation.beehive.com. If you do have, if you're on a growth plan and you have your custom domain, you can type the custom domain in there. And we're gonna click on this thing where it says, create both a Google Analytics 4 and a universal account, uh, universal analytics property. And we're going to enable enhanced measurement for that Google 4, Google Analytics 4 property. So from there, we're gonna click next. Uh, you can select your uh, kind of uh, the, kind of industry category that you're in and the size of your business. You know, these don't necessarily really impact the experience. I usually just click the top button there. You are going to have to accept some terms of service. And from there, you'll be dropped into the uh, Google Analytics GA4 interface. So from here, we have our Google Analytics account set up. We have a UA property as well as a GA4 property. We can see through how this is set up that we already have our UA, uh, our UA uh, code connected to here. So we don't need to do anything uh, to implement the UA code. What we will do though is go data streams and click where it says measurement ID. And we're gonna take that measurement ID and we're gonna drop it right here in this section and then hit save. So from here, if we go to our publication, I'm using a tool right now that lets me see the different tags we have deployed. We'll see that when we reload, we now have this here. And we will start seeing data come through in the actual Google Analytics uh, property itself. So from here, you have your data flowing. You can view both the GA4 account profile as well as your traditional Google Analytics uh, you know, interface. And in here, if we go to real time, we should see the visit that we just established. And sure enough, we can see a user on the subscribe page. Everything is set up correctly. Watch out for future videos on how we can continue to optimize uh, our Google Analytics account for best performance as well as use it to help our publications grow. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you in the next videos.